Hello everyone, this is Pritam Shah and welcome to my YouTube channel Cognitive Kodos. So today we'll see another interview question which is from Nagaru and uh, in the data engineering interview question they ask one question in hands on round. Okay, so that is uh, they uh, ask this question to solve solve it using the PySpark. Okay, so we'll do that. Okay. Before uh, going to our main hands-on uh, notebook, okay, I, I want to introduce my channel, our channel, Cognitive Codos, okay, there uh, we used to upload uh, PySpark and database related videos, okay, uh, ADF related videos, all the data engineering related, related videos we used to upload here, uh, you, you guys can go through our channel. Uh, there are lots of companies where interview round question I have uploaded the scenario based interview question I have uploaded uh, then uh, we have one full playlist on PySpark and Databricks okay uh, PySpark and Databricks there are 62 approx videos uploaded okay so you guys can go through that okay this will be very much useful for you guys who want to be a data engineer okay so these are the pillar, uh, the main pillar. For, okay, I can say. So if you want to make your pillar concrete, you need to go through this video. I can say. Okay. Okay. Please go through this video. Then you can understand how how useful this is. Okay. So and one thing, uh, guys, please, please, please do like, share, and subscribe our channel. Without your support, we can't grow. I'm telling uh, last um, last multiple days that you guys are uh, coming in our uh, page and uh, in our channel and see uh, after seeing videos without without doing any kind of comment without doing any like or share or subscribe our channel you guys left it okay daily basis you you guys are coming and seeing the video but you guys not supporting us that is demotivating us now please please do like share and subscribe our youtube channel okay so that we can also motivate by um, by you, you guys activity and we can come up with really nice videos um, or uh, or bhi zyada uh, technical uh, round wala video or bhi le sakte le, le sakte that, uh, that thing will also motivate us okay so um, please uh, support us let's go to our today's thing okay so the, what they want they given us to data set okay the one is air data means the airlines data okay airlines data so uh, there are three airlines okay uh, uh, their id is given in airline data set and uh, there is flight data so there are flights okay and the airport IDs and airline IDs. Okay, so yeah, this is uh, the uh, a, this airline ID uh, has the number one flight and it, its destination airport is one zero one. This airline ID means the first airline ID also have flight ID two. Its destination is one zero two. Okay, this like uh, now uh, this three airline ID has. Uh, six number number six flight ID okay it has also destination 102 this is like this okay so what this want what they want uh, they ask us to uh, get the, get one data frame where uh, the li list the airlines that operate flights to all the available destinations so the first we uh, all the available destination means uh, we if if we perform distinct on this airport ID, then we we can we can get the unique IDs. So the the destination airport IDs we can get it. So 101, 102, and 103 are unique uh, airport IDs. Okay. So these are the three main destinations. So we need to find out the uh, we need to find out the dest uh, the uh, the airlines uh, that operates flight for all the three destination all the three destination that operate flight okay so we'll see that okay so for getting the all uh, uh, all the um, uh, airlines uh, which operates uh, flight so for available destination so first we need to get we need to know the available destination count 
or available destination unique destination distinct you, we need to use the distinct function on the airport id okay so first what we will do we will use the distinct distinct function and get the count okay so just see the approach you uh, uh, without skipping you will get understand okay if uh, after seeing this uh, if you face any challenges to understand this video okay you can come up uh, come and connect me with uh, through linkedin or instagram or you can uh, join our telegram channel they are also you can ask me anything okay uh, or you can connect me through top mail okay all the links has been given in this video description you can go through it okay so when i am performing distinct and uh, count function on the uh, on the on this column airport id column then i am getting three because three ids are unique we have three main destinations okay 101 102 103 okay so after that what we'll do after that i'm importing some my important uh, functions okay column and count distinct count distinct okay so now i'm filtering the data okay so uh, i'm grouping grouping by airline id okay and after that i'm performing ag aggregation function uh, using the count distinct okay and airport id so if i will perform this so how i will get the data i'm getting the data like this airline id and distinct airport okay i uh, we have uh, so we have uh, this three airline okay and the distinct airport the main the main destination airport is two three and two okay the uh, for each and every uh, yeah. airline id okay uh, based on the a group by function as we have used but we want something else i'm i'm i'm, giving, I'm showing you how we want the data so i will filter the data after getting this i will filter the data based on the count okay count equals to three okay so here i am getting the this uh, the the airport airport id okay air, uh, uh, using the count distinct uh, from airport id column i am getting the uh, uh, the distinct airport okay so now what i am doing so i am filtering the data the distinct air uh, airport id equals to equals to 3 okay so what i basically get so i am getting airline id and distinct airport id now okay okay so i think you have understood what i am doing so once again i am i'm trying to uh, trying to explain the thing okay so after doing the group by after doing the group by what i am getting so for air airline id 1 the distinct airport is 2 means it has gone through a, a through two airport okay it it has two destination airline id airline id 1 okay for airline id 2 it has also two destination but airline id 3 have uh, uh, sent their flight all the three destination so now that's why airline id 3 equals to 3 okay so now i can um, i can filter the data which has the maximum destination means the all destination okay which which have the airline uh, which have sent their flight all the destination and my all the destination number is 3 so that's why i am filtering here like this okay so now i got the data airline id and the and the, uh, the distinct airport id yeah, here you can uh, change the name also okay so now what i uh, what i will do now i have another data frame for getting the uh, airline name based on the airline id just i will do the perform join function so i have here airline id so with this data frame i will join my data frame okay. normal simple join okay using the airline so now i am getting the airline id airline 
a distinct airport and a, a airline name this will not be a distinct airport you can we can name it as a distinct airport count okay. uh, if you give the name like this then you will get to understand that this airline will send the uh, plane for maximum three airport okay okay now now they what they ask to get get the thing they want the operate flights to all available destination list the airlines so they want the airlines so airline id and airline name i can uh, show them based on this requirement so select airline airline id and airline name okay so very simple thing now if i run the thing now i'm getting the correct it okay the airline id 3 uh, which uh, which is name airline c have sent their flight all the destination okay so this is the thing i think you have understood the concept very simple concept okay but a little bit tricky you need to think about that you need to first understand the problem so what they want to what they want to get the data what what kind of solution they want to get so you would you need to understand first client ka kya requirement hai wo tumhe samajhna padega uske baad you need to think that how uh, to find the solution okay uske baad solution ke liye bhavo chinta karo theek hai first you need to understand the problem okay so if you have any other uh, kind of solution you can comment on the video comment section or if you have this kind of uh, uh, scenario based video scenario based question you can uh, send me over my mail all the mail id is also given in the video uh, comment section so that i can uh, solve it and post it and uh, other students also get the benefit from that okay so when you share the, the thing we with, uh, with each and everyone then you also uh, learn multiple things okay so please uh, if you have if, if you have any kinds of uh, interview question like this you can also share with me okay so if you like this video please do like share and subscribe our youtube channel cognitive coders you guys support is really much required for growing this channel please support us okay and i we continuously we are uploading videos there are 94 videos already uploaded in our channel please 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 go and watch it so uh, and she also share with your uh, friends colleagues so that they can benefit with this video okay so thank you thank you for watching this video bye